CataractCoach.com. Cataract surgery with a vitreous hemorrhage. So there's no red reflex. So how do you complete the case? How do you see to do a capsular rexus? How do you see to remove the cortex? Think about it. The red reflex is going to block all of that. Now, sure, you can use tripan blue dye to stain the anterior lens capsule so you can see a rexus. But as you're removing the lens material, think about lens cortex. You're trying to strip it away. How can you be sure it's all gone without that beautiful red reflex? Well, this video is going to show you a way of doing it with an endoscopic light probe. So a light pipe going inside from pars plana to light up the backside of the lens capsule. Very interesting technique. Now, as you know, tomorrow, March 1, is the day. That's where we start to launch retinarounds.com. So we have a sister retina channel. I love retina stuff. I wish it could have been a retina surgery, but the problem is back when I did my training, retina was no anti-VEGF, no OCT machine, macular translocation surgery, it, no small gauge of vitrectomy even. Think about it. It was a different world. It's such an amazing field now. And I have an interest in it as well. I want to learn as much as I can, even if I don't do vitreal retinal surgery. That's why we have Dr. Pradeep Prasad, our amazing host of retinarounds.com. I've known him for many years since he was a medical student, and then an intern, and then a resident, then a fellow, then a faculty member. I assure you, he is fantastic. And you're going to love retinarounds. If you're a retina specialist, by definition, you got to sign up for retinarounds.com. So it's retinarounds.com for the free daily email, plus youtube.com slash at retinarounds for the YouTube video on a daily basis. But even if you're an ophthalmologist like me who does mostly cataract surgery, anti-segment surgery, I promise there's so much to be learned by watching this channel as well. And we'll get into all those topics that are kind of crossover and cover both worlds. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, check it out. And here comes our video of the day. Here's our case. You can see the patient's got a real cataract. There's a trocar place pars plana. Here comes the main incision. Capsule's already been stained with tripan blue dye. You can see a little bit of blue dye there in that paracentesis. And now getting a good capsular axis. Again, helpful because you've got the blue dye there to stain the lens capsule. Although it's hard to see because there really is no red reflex due to that vitreous hemorrhage here. Now, this is common in patients who have, let's say, proliferative diabetic retinopathy, patients who've had neovascular issues from retinal uh, vascular occlusive disease. Here you can see removing the cataract pretty easily. We're speeding up that part of the case. That's not the real interesting part. Nucleus removal is pretty straightforward. Just stay away from the capsular bag. Get these pieces out of the capsular bag. Bring them up here, iris plane, emulsifying them very easily. Now, in a lot of countries outside the U.S., there are a lot of vitreal surgeons who do half their practice as cataract surgery and half as vitreal surgery. That's very common. In the U.S., it's more split up where cataract surgeons tend to do just cataract surgery and vitreal surgeons tend to do just vitreal surgery. But again, helpful to have skills all over the board. Now, you can see the lens nucleus is removed easily, but the cortex is going to be a lot more challenging. Look at this technique here. How beautiful is this? With the light pipe inside the pars plane in trocar, you can really light up the posterior capsule here. So again, this is a two-handed technique here, using one hand to hold that light pipe, other hand you can use to remove the lens cortex. Look at that, cleaning it up very nicely. Now you're thinking, well, what about other types of lighting? Can you, you can do anything you want, but this is a neat technique here, and it makes life a lot easier. Sometimes surgeons use a light pipe from the anterior segment of the eye, so through a paracentesis, but I really like this idea of going pars plane, especially because our guest surgeon here is also a vitreal surgeon, and he's going to be doing a full pars plane of vitrectomy to evacuate that vitreous hemorrhage. So again, here, filling up the capsular bag with the scholastic, of course, a patient with this, with posterior segment pathology, is going to get a monofocal lens here. So nicely expanded capsular bag, get that lens inside the bag. Here comes the lens. Looks like a single-piece acrylic lens. Get that delivered nice and easy. And this patient, again, will then have a full pars plane of vitrectomy to treat the concurrent uh, retinal diseases. So here again, lens goes in. And in a case like this, remember to make a reasonable size capsule rexus. Don't make a jumbo, jumbo size rexus because you want to, that eye will to stay in the capsule bag. Even if you have to put a big gas bubble in the eye for a long period of time, you don't want to have any pressure causing that lens to pop out. So here's a lens looks like a, a, a hydrophilic acrylic lens with four haptics. And that's going to give good stability within the capsule bag. And now you can evacuate the viscoelastic, seal up that incision, and continue with your pars plane of vitrectomy here. So a very nice case. Again, check out retinarounds.com. You're going to love it. It's amazing. Dr. Prasad is a fantastic surgeon and a gifted teacher, and you're going to learn a lot from him. Whether you're a retina surgeon or like me, you just like to learn a lot about everything, including retina, 
you're going to love RetinaRounds.com. Again, same format. It's our sister channel. And there's even going to be a RetinaRounds podcast, which I'm sure you're going to just love. Check it out. Now you've got two great channels. Cataract Coach for everything anterior your segment. Cataract Glaucoma, Cornea and Refractive. And, of course, RetinaRounds for all the posture segment diseases.